Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back each day at 10 a.m. for new work and a new conversation. I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and I'd like to share the sculpture, Bull, by the artist Juan Soriano. Juan Soriano was born in Mexico in 1910. He was a child prodigy, identifying his ambition to be an artist by age eight. At 13, he was studying with established painters and had his first successful solo exhibition a few years later. He lived to be 86. In that time, he not only painted, but was an illustrator, designed theater sets and costumes, worked in ceramics and sculpted in bronze. He never wanted his works to be considered political or solemn. Many think of his art as playful. The title of the sculpture we'll look at is Bull. Bull resides on the second floor of the museum in gallery 231. There's a lot of room, so you don't have to get too close if he scares you. And bulls can be intimidating. They're big, like this guy. Check out the hooves. Even his tail is massive. And they could hurt you with those horns. He's reclining. He appears at ease. If you're big and powerful, you probably don't sweat the small stuff. Nothing's disturbing him at present. Not even the red in the art behind him. Pretty brave to hang that so close. But the idea of him rising up and charging, if he's disturbed, disturbs me. The bronze metal he's made of appears rough as if scarred. Bull's been in, in his share of scuffles in my imagination. Now imagine you're alone, driving on a dark rural road. You're driving slow because the road is bumpy. You see something up ahead. You drive slower. What's blocking the road? Is it a rock? No, it's a bull. You're stopped now, just staring at the bull as he stares back at you. You sit there a long time. What's going through your mind? What was going through Juan Soriano's mind when this actually happened to him? The story has a happy ending. The bull walked away. Perhaps he had better places to be. Perhaps our bull isn't so scary after all. I'm thinking of another bull whose name is Ferdinand. The story of Ferdinand, a book by Monroe Leaf, tells of a gentle bull who likes to sit smelling the flowers. One day he's stung by a bee and everyone thinks he's fierce. He's asked to fight but refuses and contentedly returns to sitting under his favorite tree. So maybe our bull is just happy sitting at the museum contemplating the art. Please be sure to visit him the next time you're here.